when I was in secondary school, there was this song we always sang. It says, let us praise Jesus the Lord. Let us praise his name. Worship his holy name. For the Lord is good and he keeps us in his hands and he gives us our daily bread. <laughs> Are you sure you want to hear it? Oh dear. <laughs> it says, let us praise Jesus the Lord. Let us praise his name. Worship his holy name. Worship his holy name. For the Lord is good. He keeps us in his hands and he gives us all daily bread. Amen. So the Lord is good. He keeps us in his hands and he gives us our daily bread. We are here tonight because the Lord has provided. Amen. The Lord has kept us. Um, today is the last prayer meeting of the month of March. And the Lord has been good to us. We have celebrated birthdays. We celebrated birth. We celebrated life. God has been so good. I just want us to pray tonight. Just, let's just close our eyes and just begin to thank God for all he's done for us. The songwriter says, count your blessings and name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. And we just give thanks to God. Your faithfulness, 
for your protection. We thank you for moving the mountains. Father, we give you praise. We exalt your name because you Oh 
worship the God of heaven. Just worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, we are grateful for everything you've done for us. We are here, oh God, because you have made a way. We are here because, Father, you cleared the part for us. We are here to say thank you. We are here to worship you. We are here to lift your name on high. Thank you for being the reason why we live. Thank you, Father. We worship you, oh God. We glorify your name, the protector of Israel. We exalt you tonight for all that you've done, O oh God. We say thank you. Thank you, King of Kings. We are thank you on behalf of our nation. Oh Lord, you have kept us together. Father, we were worried about so many things. We are worried about interest rates. We are worried about so many things. But we are still here, Lord. You have been God. You have been good to us. Father, you have kept this nation going. No matter what the enemy plan, oh God, you have kept this nation going. We say thank you. We thank you, oh Lord, for our town. Oh Lord, we give you glory. We thank you for our town. We thank you, oh God, for our town. We thank you for our town. We thank you for all the businesses in our town. We are here to say thank you. We are here to say thank you. We are saying kabasharande. We are masoria katasiyanda. We are here to say thank you. We thank you for loving us. 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 Lord, we give you glory. 
We thank you for sparing our lives in the name of Jesus. We give you glory, Father. We are alive today is a testimony. We are not better than those in the grave. But Father, you have spared our lives. Your word says, who as man that you are mindful of, that you visit us every morning. Lord, we are grateful. You have no rival. You have no equal. That went forever, God. You reign. Your sister
worship the Most High, the God of Heavens. Let's continue to worship Him. Let's give Him a sacrifice of our worship tonight. Tonight is our soaking meeting. And I just want you to prepare yourself to present your sacrifice of worship before the King and to wait upon the Lord. Most high, most high God of heaven, most high ruler of the earth, most high King of nations, in your likeness and in your image. Thank you that we can speak. Thank you that we can express ourselves. Thank you that we can move the members of our bodies. Lord, we do not take it for granted, oh Lord. Lord, we exalt you. The creator of the universe, we are here tonight for you. We are here to hallow your name. We are here to exalt you. We allow you to have your way tonight in our meeting. Have your way, my King. Have your way. Have your way. And as we take our seats, I want you to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Hallelujah. Father, tonight we want to hear your voice. We want to hear your voice speak to us. We want to hear your voice. We want to hear you say, this is the way, walk ye in it. Our ears are open tonight to hear you. Our heart is open to you, Lord. We are listening for your voice. Speak to us in your own way. Speak to us, Jesus. Samuel did not know the voice of God. The only voice he knew was the voice of Eli. He was the priest and the father he knew. So when he heard the voice of God, he ran to his master and said, did you call me? He said, no. Father, your word says, once have you spoken? twice have we heard but tonight down at your feet oh Lord clear our ears sanctify our ears speak to us oh Lord your word says on the last day you shall pour your spirit on all flesh your old man will see visions bless us with dreams and visions as we wait on you tonight we ask that you speak to us speak to us concerning the nation speak to us concerning the body of Christ speak to us concerning our town speak to us concerning our own lives Lord we pre repair the broken damages Lord Restore us to yourself. We are listening for your voice. Speak to us, Jesus. Thank you. 
Father, sanctify our hearts. Give us a heart like yours. Give us a heart like yours tonight. A heart that beats for you. Help us to feel the way you are feeling. Share your hearts with us tonight. with us tonight. Share your hearts with us tonight. We are listening for your voice. your angels tonight to work hand in hand to us i 
reign here tonight. Let your power reign here tonight. Let us not go back home the same. Tonight we ask that you will quicken us, O Lord. Thank you. 
Walk into the darkness, he created the light. Hey. Judgment and wrath, he poured out of certain mercy and grace, he gave on the cross. Hope you are not too quickly forgetting that our God is saying, Hey, you love me, hear you sing, yeah. You can't know, see how tall I do. But shut up, I don't know, Satan. And we seek a dole, a God is a no shakata, not a padu. Hey, a God is a no son of God. He can't let my shakata, and we seek a bada day. Lord, a God is a no son of powerful God. Awesome God. Hey, awesome God. Hey, awesome God. Oh, God. 
reign ancient Zion's king you reign ancient Zion's king you reign ancient Zion's king you reign ancient Zion's king
It's all for you, Jesus. We give our treasures to no man. We give our strength to no man. Only you, Jesus. Only you, Jesus. The joy of our hearts. The lover of our souls. The darling of heaven. Has anything the Lord is laying on your heart to share with us? With my precious bleeding side, may we all be lifted up. May we all be strengthened with might by Thy Spirit in the inner man. May we all work, walk worthy of the vocation wherewith we are called. Oh God, we pray for a deeper life in the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. For each one gathered here, that we might know you better. And we might have that confidence in our souls. It is well with my soul. Oh God, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you to be always, constantly be walking with Jesus and to glorify his name. This we humbly ask in his name and for his sake. Amen. At the beginning of the, the service, when you were worshipping, you know, a lot of the worship songs that you sang were all about God's faithfulness. We know that God is a very faithful God. There's no one like our God. But then a scripture um, was put on my heart with the question, what about our faithfulness to him? And the, the scripture was in, in Acts 16 from verse 13 to 15. And on the Sabbath day, we went out of the city to the riverside where prayer was customarily made. And we sat down and spoke to the women who met there. Now a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Thyatira who worshiped God. And the Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. So she persuaded us. And tonight, I think, the question is, how faithful are we to our calling before God? How faithful are we to him? Are we, how faithful are we living the life that he would want us to live. And it says that the Lord opened her heart to heed the things spoken by Paul. And may the Lord open our hearts tonight um, to heed the things that he speaks to us. As we listen to his word here on a Sunday, a message from him, and he says things to us, are we faithful to take heed of them and, and to do them. So the question is, does he judge us tonight to be faithful? I pray that we will all be found in that category where he will find us faithful and we will heed the things that he says to us. Amen. I don't know. Anybody else? You know, when I was standing here, all what was coming into my mind was when Jacob told his children, 
get rid of the foreign gods. Sanctify yourself. And let's move on. We need to sanctify ourselves. And ask the Lord to fan us into flame for the calling. Let's ask the Lord to prepare our hearts. Let's ask the Lord to prepare us for the mission ahead. I was listening to a man who said, don't come to God for what he will give you. Don't come to him because you need something. Don't love him because he always provides. Will you love him if he gives you nothing? Will you love him if things go bad? Will you love him if your friends have deserted you? Will you still be faithful to him? Our God is faithful to us. Will we be faithful to him? I just want us to pray tonight. Let's rededicate ourselves to the Lord. Father, we are sorry when we have not been faithful. When we have not been faithful in our worship. When we have not been faithful in executing the assignment you have given us. When the curse of this world just like the tongues have choked the word the presence of God in our lives and we are serving two masters instead of one master Jesus tonight we bring ourselves to you a sacrifice of worship is when we don't feel like singing and we rise to sing a sacrifice of worship is when we don't feel like doing it yet we raise up our voices a sacrifice to the Lord in faithful in, in faith, faithful in service is when you are so tired but you bring yourself before the king we sing a song that says you are faithful you are who you are yesterday today and forevermore what you say is what you do you never fail you never lie to us you are faithful to the end tonight the question is are we also faithful? I just want you to pledge allegiance to God tonight. I wouldn't tell you what to tell him. Present yourself to him. The children of Israel presented themselves before the Lord year after year with sacrifice with burnt offerings, with peace offering, that the blood would wash them clean and prepare them. Tonight we are pleading on the blood of Jesus. Sanctify us from the crowns of our head to the soles of our feet. Sanctify us, O oh God, to a higher calling. We are priests unto the Lord. Sanctify us tonight. The priest must be sanctified. Even his garment was well described by God in detail. The ceremonial worship was according to the words of the living God. We cannot come before this God carelessly. We ask for his sanctification. We ask in you, Father, for forgiveness. Father, help us tonight. We ask that you will help us. 
Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. We come not in our own righteousness. But we come through the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, do not turn your face away from us. Do not turn your face away from us. Search us, O oh Lord, tonight. Get rid of every foreign God in our life. Get rid of every foreign God in our lives. We give you permission, O oh Lord, and take resident permits in our lives. We give you full access. Quicken our mortal body tonight. Quicken our mortal body tonight. Fan us to flame, O oh Jesus. Set us on fire that we may burn for you. Set us on fire, O oh Lord. Let the world watch us burn for you. When David was set on fire, when the spirit of a living God was upon David, he danced before the ark and his wife Michal thought that he was crazy. He thought he was embarrassing himself. Father, give us that level of commitment. Let the spirit of David come upon us. The spirit that knows no shame. The spirit that will lead us to intercession. The spirit that will take Jesus. to him fully, fully surrendered, nothing between, and to glorify you and give you the preeminence that is due to your great and holy and blessed name. Amen. Amen. When Saul went in search of his father's donkey, he ended up in the house of Samuel. He didn't know what the Lord had in stock for him just like all of us the bible says i know the plans i have for you plans to prosper you he knows the plans he has for us according to the book of jeremiah chapter 29 and when so when before the prophet of god the plans of God concerning his life was made known to him. And when God spoke a word in his life, I learned three things. Samuel said you will meet three people. One carrying a lamb. The other one, I think it was five loaves of bread and a wine skin. He said they will feed you and he was fed. And when he was fed, he said, then you will go, you will move on. And you will see the company of prophets. And the spirit of God came upon him and he prophesied. Tonight as we approach the communion table, I want you to ask God, Father, feed me. Feed me like you fed soul feed me till I want no more feed me with your bread feed me with your spirit clothe me oh God with your power the presence of the bread and wine empowers a man it makes you a new man Saul said and after this you will be a new man a man filled with the Spirit of God. So tonight, Father, prepare our hearts. As we draw nigh the table, feed us, Lord. Feed us with your body. Feed us with your body. 
let us be full, be satisfied in your presence. Clothe us with your power, your blood, the blood that never loses its power. We beckon on the blood tonight as we consume the wine. Bible say, do not be drunk with wine, but be drunk with the Spirit, that the Spirit of a living God will come upon us tonight to help us faithfully serve you. We give you glory, Father. Take my life and let it be David was running from Saul he entered the temple and he was fed with your blood he was fed with bread from your house bread from your table we are gathered tonight feed us oh God for the journey ahead feed us oh God for the journey ahead tonight prepare us oh Lord Prepare us, O oh Lord. Tonight, we will take the body of Christ and we will drink the blood together. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, he took the bread, he broke it, and he gave to his disciples. He said, Take, eat. This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. And then after that, he took the cup. He gave them the wine. And he asked them to do this in remembrance of him. So as we are taking this at the table of Jesus tonight, he is here that we may feed of him. Father, we pray over this meal. We ask that you empower this meal. Make us new as we eat of your table. Make us new as we eat on your table. Anoint us for greater works. Anoint us to serve you faithfully. In Jesus' name, amen.
says I am empowering you for the next quarter I am empowering you tonight for the next quarter Father we thank you so much we receive your blood we drink it in the name of the Father the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit that we are bring together in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we say thank you. We are grateful, Father, for feeding us tonight. We are grateful for preparing us for the next quarter. We go forth not in our own strength, but in your strength, in the power of the Holy Ghost. We give you praise, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you for building a, a wall of fire around us. Thank you that we live in your bubble. We give you glory, Father. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we please bring our offering before our God? lift our sacrifice to you tonight. No one comes before the king and go uh, come before the king empty-handed. So Lord, we have brought our sacrifice before you. We ask that you will receive it. We ask oh God that our sacrifice will be acceptable to you. 
we thank you tonight. For all those who give online, we say thank you for their lives. As you do for us, do the same for them in Jesus' name. Father, we give you glory. We thank you. Lord, we thank you also for those who celebrated their birthday this week. We thank you for Grandma Pauline. Um, we thank you for Jadine. We thank you for Twebi. Lord, we lift them up before you. We present them before the throne room of grace. We leave them at the feet of the master. We mark them with the blood of Jesus. We decree and we declare that they will not be lost. They will fulfill the assignment. They will be a blessing to the next generation. Father, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. We pray that the enemy will not even see them. Wherever they mention their name, they will see Jesus. Father, put the spirit of David upon them. Make them mighty warriors, mighty arrows in your hands, O oh God. I pray for their sake, bless their families. Bless their genealogy. Bless the generations to come, O oh Lord, because of them. I pray, O oh Lord, that as you seek the man to use on the surface of this earth, Father, may they be found. We mark them with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for their lives. We celebrate their lives tonight. And we give you glory. And we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. Thank you very much for coming tonight. And we meet again on Sunday. Please come on Sunday. Sunday is Palm Sunday. Amen. How are we going to celebrate it? With a dance? Hallelujah. They said bring a palm branch. I don't have one, so anybody can spare me one. Bring our palm branches and let's sing Hosanna to the King. Amen. Amen. And bring cloth to spread for me in case you don't see Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> that was just a joke. <laughs> Amen. So we will all meet on Sunday. Please um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Amen. A Hallelujah. The bell. And ring my bell. Amen. Is it my bell? It's the bell. Not the bell. Hallelujah. The bell. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, you can bring your donkey. I heard Uncle Steve brought a donkey from... Morocco. So please bring it on Sunday. Yes, three donkeys. Oh. <laughs> so you are welcome. Please, let's remind our friends, our loved ones, remember everybody to come on Sunday and let's worship the Lord together. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.